So Scott Pruitt, the anti-science leader of the EPA, uh, did one of his first official actions at the agency. The New York Times reports, Scott Pruitt, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency, moved late on Wednesday to reject the scientific conclusion of the agency's own chemical safety experts who under the Obama administration recommended that one of the nation's most widely used insecticides be permanently banned at farms nationwide because of the harm it potentially causes children and farm workers. Uh, the ruling by Mr. Pruitt in one of his first formal actions as the nation's top environmental official rejected a petition filed a decade ago by two environmental groups that had asked that the agency ban all uses of uh, chlorpyrifos. I might be butchering that. The chemical was banned in 2000 for use in most household settings, but still today is used at about 40,000 farms on about 50 different types of crops, ranging from almonds to apples. Late last year, and based in part on research conducted at Columbia University, EPA scientists concluded that exposure to the chemical that has been in use since 1965 was potentially causing significant health consequences. They included learning and memory declines, particularly among farm workers and young children who may be exposed through drinking water and other sources. They, they mention how it, it, it's a neurotoxin. Like one of the other articles on this that I read, they say, no, that's just like what it is. Like we know it's a neurotoxin. So when you specifically talk about younger people, if they have exposure to this somehow, well, they're, they're going to have deficiencies. In fact, they say it's linked pretty strongly with an increase in autism as well. I don't know, like, does that have something to do with when uh, the woman is pregnant and they're in the environment where that's around and that's in the air? I don't know. But they say, according to the recommendation of the scientists at the EPA is... We should ban it because the standard is supposed to be unless you can prove it's safe. Like that, the burden is to prove it's safe uh, in order to use it in such, in all over the place, in such a widespread fashion. And, you know, that kind of makes sense when you talk about something like insecticides or these chemicals. If they're untested, the default assumption that, well, let's just assume they're safe until proven otherwise. Well, how many people are going to die in the meantime? I think the burden of proof when it comes to something like this should be, it needs to be proven to be safe, not vice versa. You don't, you don't just like legalize it and then later on say, well, prove it's unsafe. No, you should have it proven beforehand. You shouldn't like mass spray our food with this shit that could kill people and then go, well, people haven't died yet. No, this is what regulation is all about. So the standard at the EPA is it needs to be proven to be safe. And the EPA scientists and the various studies that have looked into it they're like, it's not. They're, that's It's not. There's, there's problems that are associated with it. So the fact that the head of the EPA is now overriding the consensus of his own agency, I'm unsurprised by that because this is the guy who said that carbon dioxide is not a primary contributor to climate change. And then when he was finally called out by that on Fox News of all networks by Chris Wallace, then he moved the goalposts to, well, yeah, I mean, sure, maybe it's contributing, but what can we really do about it? And just how much are we contributing? And then when he was pushed on that, he would go, ah, jobs, jobs. And then when he would pu was pushed on that, he'd say, well, look, even if it was a problem, it's unconstitutional really for me to regulate it. Goalposts moving nonstop. So in other words, let the industry do whatever they want. This is a guy who sued the EPA 14 times. Now he's the head of the EPA. That's mental. So he doesn't believe in the EPA, but he's the head of the EPA. So let age, uh, industry do whatever they want, because I care more about their profits than the health and well-being of the American people, which is, again, exactly the opposite of how he should feel as the head of the EPA.